Leo Echegaray was convicted of raping his stepdaughter and executed by lethal injection in 1999. It was widely publicized and divided a largely Roman Catholic country. The Philippines was the first Southeast Asian country to abolish the death penalty in 1987. Echegaray was the first inmate to be put to death since it was brought back by former President Fidel Ramos in 1993. Capital punishment was then shelved during the time of former President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. But now, President Rodrigo Duterte is pushing for the revival of the death penalty. He has promised to carry out daily executions as a way to deter crime. The director of the National Penitentiary took us on a tour of this maximum security prison in Manila. This is Building 14, the most isolated and highly secured of all jail cells. This is where some of the worst offenders are held. He says the death penalty should be given to the men here. You only strike fear in the hearts of criminals by doing what they deserve. It's a good deterrent. And believe me, my experience with law enforcement tells me that criminals are afraid to die and they would avoid confrontation with law enforcement. This maximum security prison has a capacity of 5,000. Yet, it is now housing more than 24,000 inmates. Government leaders admit their resources are stretched, but they're doing everything they can to improve services. These former execution rooms have now been turned into museums, but not for long, officials say. They are now preparing for refurbishments. Since the end of World War II, more than 100 inmates have been executed here. Some of them by hanging, others by lethal injection, but most of them by electrocution. But some say the death penalty will not prevent crime. What is a deterrent to crime is the certainty of punishment. And I really wish that the administration would focus on strengthening our legal system rather than on doing things that have been weakening the legal system. Despite strong opposition from the local Catholic Church, a recent survey suggests more than half of those polled are in favor of the death penalty. But the rights groups say the death penalty is expected to greatly affect the poor. Recent studies have shown that most of those sentenced to death and executed in the past came from poor communities, while more than half of those death sentences meted out years ago were wrongfully imposed. Jamela Alindogan, Al Jazeera, Manila.